So this question says, if the function f has five distinct zeros, which of the following could represent the complete graph of f in the xy plane? So the key to this question is understanding what five distinct zeros, especially the zeros part, really means. So whenever we're graphing, or even if you're not graphing, let's say you have a polynomial, if this test says find the zeros, right? And zeros literally just mean x-intercepts, right? Which, hopefully you recall, means, right, where y equals zero, right? So x-intercepts means points on the x-axis. If we were dealing with a polynomial here, you'd be able to find those values by plugging in zero for y. But because we're dealing with a graph, we can just identify them visually. So we know we're looking for five distinct x-intercepts, right? So let's just say it that way. Instead of saying five distinct zeros, we're looking for five distinct x-intercepts. So we can just count. So choice A, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So not five, so A is out. For B, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So B is out. Choice C, here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So C is out. And then for choice D, we have one, two, three, four, and five. So choice D is the only answer choice that has five x-intercepts. Therefore, it is the correct answer.